Maricopa County has invested $3 million into heat relief efforts for the summer of 2024. Much of that money is going to increasing the number of cooling centers and expanding hours. This especially helps our residents experiencing homelessness. We live in our car, so it's kind of hot out there. There's no AC on, so we come in here, we get to eat, the dogs get to relax, keep cool, and they love it here. We average anywhere from 80 people a day to 120 is our highest number that been in the center. But the Board of Supervisors also recognize the need for heat protection for pets. It's great to be here at Resurrection Ministries here in Mason District 2, my district. But I came up with this idea to help people out with dog bowls and with dog shoes. Frankly, with this heat that we all have to endure in the summer months, there are some people who have their best friend, which is a furry friend, but they're not able to provide for them. So I think this program is worthwhile to allow these people to have access to what they need either with these dog bowls or with these uh, dog shoes and they can get it in places like this. And we're really excited to see folks really take advantage. Congratulations, here you go. Thank you. There you go. In addition to providing water bowls and shoes for dogs at our respite centers, the board also voted to invest in chilled water fountains and dog bowls at McDowell Mountain Park. I'm really proud to spearhead this program where we're gonna have these dog bowls out for people at McDowell Mountain Park, which is in our beautiful district. And people who want to enjoy the outdoors and want to bring a dog with them, frankly, they can't right now. It's just too hot and they shouldn't. Um, but if you're able to bring a dog early in the morning and that dog has access to water, I think that makes it even better experience for both you and your pet. Vice Chairman Galvin says in Maricopa County, our job is to take care of the whole family, including their beloved furry members. Not only are we helping dogs, but I believe we're helping humans as well. And if a person's not able to come inside this facility or doesn't want to come inside this facility because they're not able to bring their dog with them, then they're going to be suffering the outside as well. But by having an animal with them constantly 24 seven as part of their family, as part of their life, it provides them emotional stability. It provides them good morale. These people are facing difficult circumstances right now in their lives and our prayers go out to them. The least we can do is just give them a hand. They're like my kids. If I can't go into a place without them, I'll suffer with them. I, I want the dogs to be healthy, happy, and safe. They're definitely going to love We appreciate it. it.